Hello everyone and welcome back to another product review on my channel. I am so excited to share this new collection from Ugly Duckling. It is the Jelly Gels. I am super stoked that Ugly Duckling came out with Jelly Gels. These are 10 new shades of glass-like gels that you can use all year round, winter, summer, spring, fall. And I'm actually gonna do some nail art tutorials using a few of these. I'll insert some pictures where I've used these on clients so I've got a good feel for this collection and I can't wait to share it with you. Okay, jumping right into this, number 220 and 220 is a black. It is kind of a smoky black, so not a glass black, but more of a smokiness to it. This would be great for smoke nails, great for Halloween. Now, all of these jelly gels I will be putting on in two layers. You can do three thin layers if you want, depending on the... I'm gonna say opacity. These will never be truly opaque because they are a glass gel. So with the second layer here, you're seeing a little bit more depth to the color. I really like this for Halloween. You could stamp some silhouette images and then put this color over top and get a really <laughs> spooky looking nail. So I won't be doing any color comparisons with this collection just because I don't have any jelly gels or glass gels in my studio at all. So that is why I'm super excited that Ugly Duckling came out with these. Okay, let's move on to the next color, which is 221. And this is a brown. I was gonna say black. This is a brown. And this is more of a glass brown. So it's more clear. There's not so much smokiness to it, but more of a like a glass-like gel. Depending on the intensity that you want with this color, you could do it in one thin layer, put two layers on. This is the second layer and look how rich this one is. This is so gorgeous. This is like maple syrup. That's exactly what this one reminds me of is maple syrup. Great for tortoise nails. And I am actually gonna show you how I do tortoise nails at the end of this video after I show you all the colors. <laughs> And this is 221 after two layers. I am using the Ugly Duckling No Wipe Top Coat and you can see how see-through this one is. So great if you want to put a design underneath this. And I am curing these gels for anywhere from 45 to 60 seconds. And the next color is number 222. And 222 is, I would say this is like a brick red. So this is the red in the collection. I'm seeing some smokiness with this color. So it's not as see-through as 221 but it's more of that smokiness i hope that makes sense with the second layer you can get more of an intense look if you like now i did use this on a set of nails and it did not look foggy or smoky this is the set of nails i did you can see the stamping underneath this color quite clearly so don't let this swatching part deceive you of how gorgeous and versatile this color really is and I will also show you how I did this design as I have had some requests of how I did this. But first, let's take a look at the next color, which is number 223. And this is an orange color, even though it's kind of swatching out a little bit yellow with this first layer. This is a really pretty orange. This is great for tortoise nails. It will be great for Halloween, any kind of fall designs you want to do. And as I put the second layer on, you're seeing a little bit more of the orange. And this color is more glass-like and less smoky -like. Looking. And with this color for this design, I did do three thin layers. I wanted the orange to really pop through. And as I mentioned before, I will show you how I do the tortoise shell, but a super fun design. I love that my client wanted to do something on all 10 nails. This was a really, really fun set to do for her. And the next color is number 224, and this is the yellow. Now this one did go on nice and glass-like. I do want to mention that my swatch sticks 
I did buff them because I was finding that some of the colors would pop off over time. So just know that this is a nice clear glass like jelly gel. This is great for the fall time. I would even think you could use this in the spring and summer as well. And this is after two thin layers cured for about 45 to 60 seconds in between each layer. This color reminds me of those Vicks cough drops. I used to have those as a kid and that's a good thing. I love this color and I could almost taste lemon drops just looking at this. And the next color is number 225 which is this gorgeous green. I'm seeing some blue undertones in this green as well and this is a glass like jelly gel so there's no smokiness to it. This would be great for Christmas time, for the summer, for even early fall if you want to embed some leaves in between this color and I'm actually going to show you how I do that as well. <laughs> so lots of fun nail art demos at the end of this video. Uh, I just love this color. This is such a happy, happy green and as you can see, you can see right through it so a great green if you want to put some designs and stuff underneath this color as well. This would be great for Christmas nails. I'm seeing, I'm thinking my brain is going, I'm seeing a lot of Christmas nails with this color. <laughs> and the next color is 226 and this is a beautiful aqua blue color. This would be great for ocean nails, summer nails, vacation nails. I even used it for a fall nail design, kind of Halloween-ish if you will. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm actually going to show you how I used this color as well. So with the second layer, you do build the color up a little bit. This one is quite see-through as well. There's a hint of smokiness to it. This is the design I used. And again, it's that same technique that has been very popular with my clients this month. You can put these jelly gels over any stamping image and get a really unique look. So I would just encourage you to play around and see what you come up with. Okay, the next color is number 227, and this is a purple. I thought it was going to be a blue. There is some blue undertones to it, but it's definitely a purple, and it is what I am wearing on my nails. And here's a better look at my nails. So this is just so stunning. I love these nails. So Halloween, you can make it more Christmassy if you want. And again, this is a design I will show you how I do, as I have had several requests of how to do it. Okay, and the next color is number 227. And this is kind of a fuchsia pink and I would say there is a slight smokiness to this but very very slight. I think it's just the hue that makes it look a little smoky and please don't get discouraged by that. They are glass like jelly gels so as you can see that putting these over top of a design like this you can see the image very clearly. Like I've shown you three different looks like this with three different colors and it looks stunning. I love these nails. Oh, I love these nails so much. If you want to know what colors I use on these pictures that I've shown, go to my Instagram at Aura Light Nails by Carrie and on all my posts I put in the description of what products I use. And the last color is number 229 which is also another pink but this is a lighter pink and I will show you the difference between the two pinks. This kind of has like that orange hue as you can see in the bottle. Is that kind of a pinky orange. I've seen this before in art inks so kind of I, I don't know what that is but it's kind of unique and interesting. <laughs> and as I'm putting the second layer on I love how this color does build up. It gives it a more richer not so much a baby pink but a light Barbie pink if you will and this would be a great spring and summertime jelly gel to use. Okay, and let's take a look at all 10 jelly gels before we get into some art demos. So 220 to 229. So the two pinks, 228 and 229, which is on the right of your screen, 228's got more of a blue base to it and 229 has that kind of orangey pink hue to it. So I am seeing a difference. I hope you guys are able to see the difference as well. Now, I don't know if Ugly Duckling is going to continue on with the jelly 
gels and add more colors to this line or not, but I think this is a great start. 10 great colors, I can't say that enough, and very versatile, so well-rounded. You could, There's so much you could do with these colors. Okay, let's move on to the nail art demos. I can't wait to do this. So the first design, I'm going to start with number 223, putting a thin layer down. As, as you can see on a clear nail tip, if you're doing glass nails, all of these colors would work wonderfully on something that is absolutely clear. So I'm going in with my second layer and I am carrying about 45 seconds in between each layer. Then I'm gonna put a bit of number 221 on my ceramic tile and I'm going to use my Detailer 2 brush. But first I'm gonna go in with a blooming gel. Now I know Ugly Duckling has smelt it. I don't have that, so I just used Wildflower's blooming gel and I'm putting number 221 in the blooming gel and letting it spread out. Then before curing, I'm going to go in with number 43 and I'm going to place small little black dots just randomly in number 221 and I'm going to let that spread out. Then before curing, I decided to go back in with number 221 just to soften the black a little bit. Then I will cure for about 45 to 60 seconds. The black is very pigmented, so I wanna make sure that this product is cured all the way through. Then I'm gonna take some gold foil and break it up small and put it into the dispersion layer and just put the gold foil where I want it. Then I will use the rubber end of these tweezers and just press the gold foil right into the dispersion layer and I will actually cure for another 30 seconds. If you're wearing gloves, you can use your finger and press the foil down. Then I'm going in with a tacky top from Ugly Duckling, put, placing it over top. I want to be able to buff this as you can see here and get a nice smooth surface because when you use any type of blooming gel you do get a little bit of lumps and bumps or dips and valleys so I did cure the tacky top for 60 seconds lightly buff and now I'm gonna go in with the no wipe top coat and look how this shines such an easy design and the tortoise nail art is very popular this fall I've been seeing a lot of it on social media so I thought I would show you how I do it and it's such an easy easy design I'm not the best nail artist in the world by far and when I can actually pull something off and it kind of looks cool I'm pretty proud of it and look at it matte you get a completely different look I actually really like it matte it looks more animal like okay let's move on to the next design I'm gonna start off with number 43 black and I'm going to cure for 60 seconds this black is very pigmented so I want to make sure that it cures all the way through and I will only do one layer. Next I'll go in with the cat eye gel polish number 186, put a layer on and then use my magnet to get the look that I want with this silver. I love one, number 186. I've used it a lot. I don't want a huge design. I just kind of want all the color to pull to the middle and have the black on the outer edge and then I will cure for 60 seconds. Now once you get the design that you want don't stop and stare at it because the color will move. Go in and cure it right away. Once cured, I will wipe the dispersion layer off before I do any stamping. And here I'm taking one of the Halloween plates from Clear Jelly Stamper with the black stamping polish and putting my design right down on top of 186. Now you can use any type of design. If you want to do easy steampunk nails, put a steampunk design or stamping image down. And then I usually let that dry for about 30 seconds then I will pick a color and I chose number 226 over top one layer you don't need any more than that and cure for 60 seconds 
And the last step is to go in with the no wipe top coat from Ugly Duckling and cure for one minute. Now this design, this look, you can use any kind of stamping plate you want. If you want to know the stamping plate I used on my myself and in this tutorial, head on over to my Instagram and you'll get a full list of products that I've used. And because this design was so fun to do, I thought I would do another one for you. And that's how you do this design. So super easy and products that I'm sure you already have in your collection at home. And again, as I mentioned before, you can do any design for any season. And another way you can use these jelly gels is by embedding glitter inside or in between the color. So I'm going to go in with two thin layers carrying 60 seconds in between each layer. After the second layer, I'm going to put down a thin layer of builder base. If you have that from Ugly Duckling, I didn't. So I just went in with clear builder from Magic Gel. Then I'm going to take these fall leaves from Glitter Mix Canada, dreaming of fall and leaf me alone there are some nice pink iridescent leaves in here with some hexagon glitters and placing these glitters in the uncured builder base and then I will cure for 60 seconds After a full cure, I will encapsulate these glitters. So when I file or when I put the top coat on, there are no lumps or bumps. So I just put a slip layer down, then I'm going in and I'm sort of building up the structure a little bit, making sure the apex is where it needs to be and kind of smoothing out any dips and valleys. And you can tip it upside down, which will help give you a smoother surface. So I've done the buffing off camera here and now I'm going in with 228, putting a thin layer over top just to give this look a more subtle look then going in with my top coat and curing again for 60 seconds and here's what it looks like if you don't put the jelly gel over top of the leaves the leaves pop a little bit more so it really depends on what kind of look you're going for there are really no right or wrong way to use these jelly gels at all they are so versatile and so fun Okay, and it's recap time. So here's the three designs or four designs we did. So versatile. You guys, I'm so excited and so happy that Ugly Duckling came out with these jelly gels. I hope they add more colors down the road. You can just do so much. If you're not great at art, like myself, I don't think I'm the best artist at all. Just doing some sort of abstract art or embedding glitter in these jelly gels or stamping and then putting this jelly gel over top. So, so versatile. So tell me what you guys think. Have you picked this collection up? Do you have jelly gels or glass gels already? If you have a design that's really simple to use and you're on Instagram or Facebook, tag me so I can see what you've done. I would love to be able to get more ideas of how to use these jelly gels in a design. So in case you did know AR Nail Supply is a distributor for Ugly Duckling Nails and this is where I got this collection from. Shipping is super fast. I know I've mentioned this before. I'm in BC and I usually get my shipments between oh I don't know depending on when it's sent five days sometimes seven days. Not bad at all from coming from Ontario all the way to BC. And they have the products that I use in my studio every day like Light Elegance Magic gel fusion beamy beauty box so it really 
is great for a one-stop shop. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had so much fun filming this and editing it and doing the demos for you guys. This was such a fun video for me to do for you. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit that like button because then my video gets shared into the YouTube universe and it helps my channel to grow. So it doesn't cost anything. It's just a click and you really help my channel to grow. I'm really wanting to get to 5,000 subscribers here soon. So thanks everyone for watching. If you have any questions, please comment them down below and we will see you all in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.